What I just heard is there is an end of some sort of tyranny happening in your life right now, Aries. For whomever is breaking free from the tyranny here, don't give up. Don't lose faith. Don't lose sight of, your, uh, of the goal. Okay? Persevere. Hey there, Aries. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what is up, guys? So welcome to March of 2021. Yeah, please keep in mind that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, uh, it, we could be talking to a cross watcher here. Yeah, so just take it as it resonates. If the roles need to be reversed, whatnot, whatever, then just you know, do that at your own discretion, do what's best for you. Don't try to fit anything into your life that doesn't naturally fit there. Yes. So um, I am available for private readings. If you are interested in getting one, uh, don't hesitate to email me. The email can be found in the description box below. Divine, uh, uh, Divine Conversations 2711 at gmail.com. I also have a list of the readings that I offer in the description box. So check that out. Give me an e shoot me an email and I'll get you all set up. Also, if you're vibing with me as a reader, I highly recommend that you check out Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. We do daily readings there. I also do bi-weekly twin flame readings and bi-weekly inner masculine, inner feminine readings in which we look at the inner masculine, inner feminine within and we talk about what potentially you could do to help balance and integrate those energies. Yeah. So for this month, we do have St. Patrick's Day coming up this month and I figured I was influenced and guided to pull on the Fairy Forest Oracle deck to get us some closing Oracle guidance. And then we will be using the Mystical Manga deck for our Tarot this month. Yeah? All right, Aries. So let's get into your pre-shuffle energy here. Um, when I was connecting to your energy, I got a very strong sense of like pretty intense energies or strong determination. And that's not anything new or novel for Aries, okay? Um, I just, I, I do kind of feel like you're going through something quite specific. I feel like there is a specific an, uh, um, event uh, or uh, altercation, I want to say, or maybe just a, a scuffle or a, 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 what is it? A, um, I don't know, an altercation, I guess we could call it. It doesn't have to be a physical altercation, but something happened, all right? Um, it doesn't feel like it was physical. It feels like it was more, um, more of a, like a conversation or something like that. But a lot of and a lot of energy has come out um, in your pre-shuffle. And ironically enough, Aries, all of the cards, all of the same cards that have been coming out for Leo and Sagittarius today, have also come out for you. On one side of the equation, you have the Queen of Swords in reverse, with the Hierophant, the uh, Five of Pentacles the Knight of Swords, and then also the Ace of Pentacles, okay? This could be you, Aries, but I kind of don't feel like it is. I feel like there's someone out here that is really harsh, um, and really mean, vindictive, maybe even spiteful, uh, but this really kind of feels like somebody may have communicated something from a place of conformity, a place of lack, of feelings of lack, um, it feels like this person is 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 moving or living in a space of which they are giving into the lack mentality that our society likes to sell, but but that is sold in order for those that are selling it to keep the other people that could be buying in line, in their pocket, under their thumb, this, that, and the third. There's a very conformist element to this. And even when I started connecting with your energy Aries to begin with, I was hearing conformity, conformity, like whatever, but I was also hearing that a lot for Sagittarius. So I kind of didn't really pay too much attention to it because I felt like maybe it was bleeding over into this one. Nope, seems like you've got the, a pretty, a very similar energy. I feel like whomever is here in the Queen of Swords in reverse is very vindictive, very spiteful, or very much quick to start a fight. You have the Knight of Swords here and then the Ace of Pentacles. And I also kind of feel like this individual may be trying to manipulate someone else, offering them something, Ace of Pentacles, and yet what they're offering is from a place of conformity and lack mentality. It's almost as if this individual in the Queen of Swords reversed energy is trying to scare you or scare somebody else 
into into conforming somehow giving in trying to sell you something to tell you that you need it when you don't maybe even trying to instill fear into you so that you accept this offer or whatever it is they have to give you on the other side of the equation you have you aries the emperor with the nine of wands okay and again these are all the same cards that have been coming that came out for leo and sagittarius today but you have the queen of cups the queen of pentacles the nine of pentacles and then the eight of wands all right so either this is you aries or this is the other person um but somebody here is being an authoritative figure taking stepping into a sense of authority and control maybe even leadership in terms of what this individual here this queen of swords in reverse may be trying to convince them of and it feels like this person here either aries this is you or this is another the other person but this person that's in the emperor energy is not allowing this queen of swords to get under their skin because ultimately they have a sense of emotional awareness they also have a sense of uh, oh, emotional awareness and emotional boundaries. They also have a sense of self-worth and they're standing on their own. They're thinking for themselves, okay? And they're moving in a different direction or they may be communicating that they're moving into a different direction, eight of wands. But then you also have that with the nine of wands, persevere, don't give up. For whomever this person is in the equation, don't give up because at the bottom of the deck is truth, clarity, ace of swords, to the Ten of Swords, to the Two of Wands, to the Tower. I feel what I just heard is there is an end of some sort of tyranny happening in your life right now, Aries. And if either Aries, you are the, the the tyrant, or you're the one that's breaking free from the tyranny. For whomever is breaking free from the tyranny here, don't give up, don't lose faith, don't lose sight of your uh, of the goal. Okay, persevere. All right. Okay. Excellent. Let's get into the rest of this here. I'm going to give this a free a uh, few uh, uh, clearing shuffles for Aries, and then we'll get into the rest of the message for your month. Yeah. Four of Pentacles, the Hermit, and Judgment has just popped out with the Ace of Swords. Swords still at the bottom of the deck. So um, this is you letting go, uh, focusing internally going within to understand what's best for yourself the lovers and and uh, i'm sorry not judge not lovers judgment and the and the hermit if you're tr if you're struggling with letting go of something being uh freeing yourself of something going within and listening to the high the callings of your higher self is going to help you make that decision could also help you let go could bring you the clarity and the the the, the understanding or the the very last straw or the last piece of information or understanding that you need to let go, to finally let go of this conformity or whatnot, whatever. I just heard that. That's interesting. Okay. All right. Yeah. It's all about, yeah, see, Queen of Cups and Queen of Pentacles. Again, this is all about um, your self-worth and maintaining your boundaries. All right. Knowing that you are much stronger much more capable, much more fertile, much more abundant than whomever that Queen of Swords energy wants you to believe you are, all right? All right, last shuffle here. All right, let's get into this Aries and see what we have for your month. Here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Aries at this time. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representation of the energies for Aries in terms of general energies for the month of March of 2021. Thank you so very much spirit all right aries um five shuffles here uh one but this is one 
what I just picked up on for you um, is a sense of green energy. This is two. Um, and so I feel like you, somebody here may have had an abusive parent or an abusive, um, very, very controlling and dominating uh, uh, parental or authoritative figure. This is three. And I feel like you're in, for you, Aries, this sense of conformity that you're coming out of is a sense of opening up your heart, trusting your intuition, and following through with that. It's 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 strange and it kind of feels or seems a little bit backwards, but it's like whatever whatever fear mongering this other person is putting forward, putting forth, it, it's having an adverse it's having the reverse effect on you. Instead of pushing you deeper into a sense of fear, it's instead driving you to find the truth within yourself, the abundance within yourself. It's getting you to a place where it's allowing you to believe or, or influencing you to believe in yourself instead of giving into the fear that someone else wants to sell you just to keep you in control or keep you under their thumb. This is four. Heart chakra awakening, heart chakra awareness, opening up to the abundance and the fertility of the universe. This is five. All right, Aries, let's cut the deck here. Boop. All right. Overall energy. You've got the sun. Yes, Aries, mental clarity. I kind of feel like this is you shining such an intense light of your own individuality that it may be that may be what's turning this individual represented by the queen of swords reversed because i feel like there is some sort of extreme energy in fighting for maintaining control over you instead of you having control over yourself you having autonomy you having uh, a sovereignty, any of that. The sun. Underneath the sun is the lovers. Oh. To the hermit. To the two of swords. And then the ten of pentacles is underneath the two of swords. But see, this is kind of why, Aries, I feel like you, you just shine so brightly that it's seriously triggering some other people because you have the sun, you have the lovers, and you have the hermit. And these are three cards of being your most authentic self. The lovers can represent that in terms of making a decision that is best for you, that is in direct alignment with, with, with who you truly are. Obviously, the hermit is all about going within, being independent, going on a pilgrimage of self, and just allowing your inner light to shine. I feel like there's no denying you the fact that you are in a sense of who you truly are and no one is going to take that away from you and i really feel like you're not even trying to entertain anything other than allowing your light to shine which effectively is bringing a cycle to an end this could i, I mean quite frankly on a specific level this could be an element of a parent-child dynamic where the child is finally coming into their own and is like, screw you. I'm not listening, trying to listen to what you have to say any longer. I'm out of here. I'm flying the coop. Six of Wands to the Magician. Right back to you, Aries, the Emperor. Okay? Having the authority to take the steps that you need to manifest what it is that you want. This literally feels like someone is uh, leaving the nest in some way. This could be quite literal in the sense of you have a child here. This is a parent-child dynamic where, you know, you have a child that's really starting to assert their sense of independence. Um, and is, I, quite frankly, I feel like someone is specifically moving out. So this could be a child moving out. This could be a, a roommate moving out, a friend or family member that's, in essence, moving out of the structure that has been built in terms of like a, a, a society or maybe I keep hearing conformity Aries. So maybe there's something about that too. Okay. 
The lovers can also represent um, shining, being your authentic self, because yes, the lovers can represent a choice, but the also, also the lovers can represent that spiritual balance and harmony within of masculine and feminine, okay? Loving you, being your own best friend, being your own life partner, your own mate, all that kind of thing, all that kind of stuff, right? Which is allowing you to stand on your own and really assert yourself. Very intense, okay? So first set of surrounding energies for you, Aries, in the first half of your reading, you have the High Priestess. No longer giving in to the indoctrination or the dogma or the fear mongering that the Hierophant would represent, which is her masculine counterpart. I feel like you've traded that for the higher awareness, wisdom, knowledge, and, and uh, freedom of the High Priestess, what the High Priestess represents in terms of the universe, right? Whereas the Hierophant represents the conformist, three-dimensional, dogmatic, institutionalized energies, the High Priestess represents infinite mystery, uh, abundance, um, you know, d d d d everything else that is not confined to a box, okay? I feel like you're really favoring that energy right now, Aries. The High Priestess is coupled with the Chariot. Look at that, all right? So, so you may not know exactly where you're going or exactly how things are going to happen, but you're in the driver's seat now. And uh, this feels... This almost, this almost feels spiteful, Aries, and that Aries energy can be very much like that, can very much be like, well, fuck you. You tell me I can't do it, I'm gonna do it anyway. Well, that's kind of what this feels like here, but it feels like that for good reason. If nothing else other than the fact that you should have the right to assert yourself or do what it is you feel is best for you in life. No, no matter, no matter how things are good, necessarily going to work out. Because even if we have the best intentions, even if we have everything planned out to as much as we humanly can, possibly can, that doesn't guarantee everything is going to go in your way. Also, doesn't guarantee that it's going to work out. Doesn't matter. You're still pushing forward. You're still moving ahead because it's in alignment with you. It's right for you. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Aries, in the first half of your reading, you have the Knight of Cups. This is you being pure of heart. This is you moving forward with your heart's desire. There's a sense of innocence here, okay? This is a sense of your heart being in the right place. That's good. Nobody can take that away from you. Don't allow anybody to convince you that you're, that you're not in the right place, that you're not in alignment with yourself, that you're not in tune with your intuition. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't allow that to happen. Knight of Cups is coupled with... The, there you go, the king of cups. So while on the surface, some individuals may look at you and what it is you're doing with your life or the direction that you're going in, with, going in your life and say, that's foolish, or that's childish, or you don't really know what you're doing here. Bullshit. The king of cups. Ultimately, you know what's best for you. Ultimately, you know what's right for you. Ultimately, you have the emotional stability and maturity to say, you know what? I'm going in this direction instead. No one can take that away from you, Aries. Don't let them. Okay? Your heart is in the right place. I feel like you're thinking clearly, or at least you're emotionally balanced. You're emotionally stable. You're emotionally mature. Okay? Don't let anybody take that away from you. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Aries, is the Wheel of Fortune. And this feels very specifically, Aries, this feels like an awareness of the cycle that you're, that you're moving through, that you would like to remove yourself from. At this point, you know, you see, you recognize that, the, that this is just going to keep flowing. And fl the, Sag got the same energy in the same spot. You recognize that this is just going to keep spinning in this same cycle over and over again. Nothing's really ever going to change until you take the action and change it for yourself. Okay. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune is coupled with the Knight of Wands. Again, Aries, your challenge here is if you want to change something, if you want something to change in your life, you're going to have to act on that inspiration. And that is exactly what could be triggering someone into that Queen of Swords in Reverse energy. Queen of Swords in Reverse is not a good energy. That is not something that you want to tangle with. That is not someone or something that you want to bump up against. Because she will chop off your head 
without even batting an eye, without even asking a question. You think the Knight of Swords is a shoot first, ask questions later? Oh, you've seen nothing until you've gotten to the Queen of Swords in reverse, okay? But if you want change, the challenge in the first half of your reading here, Aries, is that if you want change, you are going to have to take action. No one else can do it for you, right? Closing message or potential outcome for you in the first half of your reading here, Aries. You have the world. Excellent. So it looks like it's coming to an end. I like that. Cycles are closing out. The world is coupled with the Queen of Cups. Yes, Aries. The reason why, see, look, now you've got that balance. There you go. There's the balance, the harmony and the union of masculine and feminine energy within. King of Cups and Queen of Cups. But the reason why this is coming to an end is because you have an emotional understanding of the situation or maybe even of yourself. The, this, this could be a situation in which this individual that's represented by the Queen of Swords in reverse no longer has any control over you anymore because you've gained emotional stability, clarity, and boundaries. So now this individual can't emotionally manipulate you any longer. Mm-hmm. All right, Aries. Second half of your reading here. First set of surrounding energies, you have the moon. Very interesting. So you, there's a lot of duality here between the king and the queen of cups. Also, the chariot, which represents bringing two, two sides of yourself, bringing your emotions into balance, and that drives you forward. But also the sun was the very first card. The sun, and now you have the moon. But I feel like the moon here is representing the illusion that you are coming out of. The conformity, the conformity, the trickery, the tomfoolery, the bullshit, the backstabbing, the this, that, and the third. Getting away with something because things are not as they seem. Somebody using that to their advantage using the inability to see clearly of the moon or, or the mystery, all that type of, type of energy. Maybe using fear tactics, scare tactics to keep somebody in line. I feel like this is what's being revealed to you at this point or has been revealed to you here, the moon. The moon is coupled with fucking right, the tower. So this is what has been revealed to you. This environment in which someone was able to keep you down. This illusion has shattered. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Aries, in the second half of your reading. The Four of Swords. So, uh, okay, so already the Four of Swords is saying this is definitely speaking of a death. I don't mean a physical death, but I do mean uh, a change, a big transformation that you're going to need to, like, take some time to rest and recuperate from. Okay. Four of Swords is coupled with... Oh. <laughs> there she is. The Queen of Swords. Hey! Go ahead that. Okay, yeah, so the uh, Four of Swords to the Queen of Swords, man, you're going to need some time to rest from this. You're going to need some, it's like, it's like you're going to need to take a break. You fought so hard trying to get away from this energy to begin with that, like, now that it's finally clearing out of your space, it's like, all right, all right, I need a, I need a break. I need, time out, time out. I'm going, I'm going to, you might even, you might even take some time to really like in this hermit energy also to really like be with yourself. And actually that would be a really good idea because then that's going to help you allow yourself to release all of whatever this energy has been in your life. This queen of swords energy, take some time to allow that energy to subside from your, from your vibration, from your surroundings, yeah? It's not, energy doesn't work in like, you cross a th threshold and then that's it, it's over. No, it's a spectrum, just like everything else. So it's gonna need some time to fizzle out. You know what I mean? Woo, okay. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Aries, you have the three of pentacles. So this is all about 
uh, working on yourself. Um, I feel like there's going to be a little bit of resistance here in terms of like really getting going with the work that you need to do. But that's also because you might really be very emotionally and mentally exhausted from dealing with this. So that's another reason as to why you're really going to need to allow yourself to take some time to yourself to heal and recuperate. Okay. Three of Pentacles in your challenge is coupled with the Six of Cups, the past. Rebuilding yourself after, the, after dealing with the past or severing ties from the past. Thinking uh, what's actually really going to help you with this sense of self-mastery that comes in the next phase of this cycle or this journey for you is having a deep or coming to a deep understanding of what the past really was for you, what it meant for you, what it taught you, and how you can build yourself up from it in the future. Yeah. Yeah. That might be pretty challenging for some of you. I'm not, I'm trying to pick out why specifically, but it's just, I mean, maybe it was just, I mean, this. look, dealing with this, this is not easy and is extremely damaging. Okay. So yeah, that, that, it makes sense that that would be a challenge. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Aries, in the second half of your reading, you have the Page of Swords. Okay. Knowledge, inquisitive in nature, seeking, seeking the understanding. Okay. Page of Swords is coupled with, yes, the, damn y'all, look, the hanged man, seeking the understanding. I do feel like there may be an extended period of time for you guys and for someone here or maybe a group of you that feels like about two months in which you're just, you're just going to need to just relax and recuperate like really take some time away um you may feel like you you've overcome this situation or you will have overcome this situation but it's not going to be one of those victories where like you can hit the ground running no no you're going to need some time you're really going to need some time to sit to think about this to recuperate this hanged man energy is kind of making me feel like you're going to be feel stuck or immobile for a little bit that's not really as bad as you might think okay it's not you just need the time to rest and recuperate to heal to recharge your batteries and all that because you fought pretty hard getting out of this to get out of this okay all right aries let's get into this here i'm gonna give this five shuffles and we're gonna give your get your closing oracle guidance yeah one two for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of March 2021. This is three. This is four. And this is five. All right, Aries. Closing Oracle Guidance for you for the month of March of 2021. What have we got here? What have we got here? Okay. All right, cool. You have card number 12, Friga. Readiness, Bounty, and Plenty. And also, that's kind of part of what I feel like this Queen of Swords energy was trying to sell you. Sell you. Scarcity. Nope. Here we go. You are at a moment of great good fortune in this lifetime. You have created for yourself more than enough. And now the goddess that is flowing to you must be invested. I'm sorry, the goodness, not the goddess. The goodness. So you have created... For yourself more than enough and now the goodness that is flowing to you must be invested and used wisely it is easy to squander youth or beauty or opportunity as they seem such an eternal gift but this card is here to share with you that it is time to ensure that this wonderful moment is worked with wisely invest in yourself and in your health create more wealth learn and study and also offer your support and investment to worthy others 
take care of yourself and truly make yourself into who and what you have always wanted to become. This time will come around again, but it will not last forever. And so Friga wishes for you to consider the gifts you are being given, the bounty coming to you, and consider with great vision and earnestness what will provide for you and your loved ones in the years to come. Be ready to act. Your future can be created now, and the present can become so rich and enduring that nothing can shake your ability to continue prospering. Your skills, your home, your mind, your body. Take care of yourself and watch the good fortune that flows from your wise investment for many years to come. There you have it, Aries. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so very much. Um, if you are interested in a personal reading, just check out the description box below. Also, check me out on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of April. Yes? Take care. Bye. <laughs>